Hi everybody, this is Mark from Samium Guitars. I am here with John Willis, guitarist extraordinaire from Nashville. We are in his studio and we're going to talk about guitars, about that. So um, now John has two Samium guitars and one of them is a standard. This is a baritone scale version, exactly the same as, as his uh, standard 25.5 uh, inch scale guitar. All right. So um, my first question to you would be, actually, with all the guitars that you have here, don't you have enough guitars to choose from for, for tones when you're recording? Like, well, someone might ask, well, why do you need another guitar if you got all of these? Well, I would say, I got to say, the I heard about y'all over YouTube on a Philip McKnight channel. Yes. And he was trying out pickups, mm -hmm. and I was more like, Wait a minute, what is he doing with that guitar? And he was, you know, pulling them out with the deal. And I was, it totally blew my mind. So I thought, well, what if I had two guitars that I could have the exact same thing in and one was tuned a fourth down? Right. Because I do a lot of karaoke and a lot of parts where I have to do the same lick in three different keys. So... There's always one key that sucks. <laughs> and if I have this and I'm giving the engineer who's mixing these karaoke tracks the same sound, basically, mm -hmm. I don't get any grief if I play it in the, you know, in the good position on the baritone or the right. good position on the regular. It sounds basically the same. Mm -hmm. And I thought, man, that'd be great. That's why I re originally reached out to y'all. Because it gives you flexibility and consistency that you can't get by switching from... Yeah, I mean, I can't switch two different guitars because the pickups are going to be different. There's just no way. My baritone that I used before this beautiful <laughs> was a, a Trussard. And it's great. It has a great telly sound, but it doesn't cover everything. And I really wanted a guitar where when the song is lower than E, I don't have to retune. I don't have to play with a single coil pickup. I can put in a humbucker here mm -hmm. and have, you know, power chords that sound good in the lower keys. And I, I got to say, I've had a seven string. I have an eight string now. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel the same. It's very complicated in my head about following stuff. Six strings seems to be my my it's good combo. Spot, yeah. And I and I also have a thing where I see guys on the internet that have gold foils, and you know I had, I mean I got a ton of guitars, but sometimes I get called for a session and I got to carry it. The cartridge isn't dropping my stuff off, so I have a limited amount of space in my car. Mm -hmm. So before, you know, I'd, I'd just basically compromise. I'd have a line six that I could switch to a couple things, Strat, Tele, the normal thing, Les Paul. And with this guy, if I want gold foils, I just put them in. And it's a great guitar because mostly, you know, I bought a guitar that had gold foils. It's not a great guitar. You know, it's... You lose yeah. the feel. It doesn't have the same... Yeah, it doesn't feel it. firm. You know what I mean? And and I really want a guitar that feels good, first off. And then I want a guitar that has great pickups. So, are these Lawlers? Those are Lawler gold foils. Yeah. So, when I reached out to you, those were my two main things. I wanted a guitar that if I wanted lipsticks, I could put lipsticks in but they kick ass, mm -hmm. you know, the guitar sustains and works like I like it. Mm -hmm. So that was the reason I basically reached out to you. 